My name's Jared, and today we're here with the Canon 5D Mark IV, and we're gonna look at connecting it to an Android phone so you can wirelessly transfer photos. Now, the 5D Mark IV has both Wi-Fi and NFC built in. NFC stands for Near Field Communication, and it, if you have a phone that also has NFC, it means that you can tap the two devices together and they will create a connection. Now you're gonna need an app installed on your device, the Canon Camera Connection app, and in the description below I've provided a link for you so you can download that from the Play Store, or you can just go into the Play Store from your phone and do a search for Canon Camera Connect. That application is a simple download, and you don't even have to open up the app right away. What you do need to do though is go into your camera and change some settings. So let's set the phone down for a second and we're gonna go into the settings of our camera. We need to go to the setup and on the fourth page there's communication settings, choose that. Choose built-in wireless settings and make sure that Wi-Fi and NFC is enabled. Now by enabling NFC you tap the info button and make sure the check mark is there. Make sure that that's toggled because that is gonna allow you to tap your phone to the side of the camera and enable the connection. So with that enabled, your, your camera is now emitting a Wi-Fi signal and an NFC, uh, the NFC connection is enabled as well. So let's just see what it does. You can also go and nickname your camera. It's EOS 5D4 uh, from the factory, but you can go and change the name however you would like. So if I go and set up my phone and put it next to the camera, you would hold it there for a second. The application is gonna launch and agree to the license agreement. And then the camera app is actually going to launch here. Hit okay. It says camera not connected because you're connected to the wrong SSID, which is the Wi-Fi username. That's okay because we haven't actually set it up yet. So let's close out of that application. We wanna go down to Wi-Fi function, choose connect to smartphone, we can then choose from uh, d three different sets, which means you can have three different devices configured to connect to. So maybe you have a couple of different phones or a couple of different tablets. You can set each of those up to be connected uh, uniquely to your camera. I'm gonna go ahead and choose set two, choose easy connection and click okay. Now we have our SSID here and our encryption key. That is the Wi-Fi username that we're gonna need to connect to. So what we will want to do is go into the settings of our device, go to Wi-Fi, wait for it to refresh and show that SSID that is exactly what you would see on the screen. And yours will probably be unique. It won't be exactly the same as what you're seeing here on my screen. Type in the password or the encryption ID. Click on connect and now your phone is connected to your camera. So now what we're gonna to need to do is go and launch the camera connection app and uh, wait for it to refresh. You can see it says new camera found. I'm gonna select that camera, which is this camera. Now on the camera it says connect to the smartphone. I'm gonna tap on okay. And now the connection is established and I can tap on images on camera and it's gonna go ahead and show me all of the images that I have on my camera and I could download those. I could simply tap on the little, uh, the little icon in the bottom left that looks like a phone to save that image to my phone. I can rate an image by adding a rating here and that will add it to the, uh, the data on my camera and then when I import that photo into Lightroom, it'll have a rating, it's pretty cool. Uh, and then of course I can delete as well if I would like. If you wanna download multiple images at once, tap on the camera icon or the camera phone icon, select multiple images and then click save and it will download multiple images to your phone. Um, and then we have different sort views and we have some settings here as well to resize the image upon download, don't resize or select when saving. We have the ability for location information to stay in the photo or to delete it. And then um, where do you want those images to be pulled from? If you have two different cards in your camera, you can choose your CF or your SD, which is pretty cool. By default, this app is actually going to download the photos to your phone. So if you have a, um, if you have a SD card available in your phone, you're gonna need to go into the settings for the app itself to tell the phone to save those images to your SD card instead of your phone. So this is pretty cool. So now that this is, this is done, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna switch back to the Wi-Fi network that uh, I was originally on here.
So we're disconnecting from the camera. And I'm just gonna go back to our main screen on the camera so that our, our screen is off. I'm technically back in shooting mode now. So let's take a look at how this NFC works. Uh, so now my camera is back. It's just, it's not in a settings menu or anything anymore. It's just right here. And my phone does not have the application launched at all. It's just uh, on a home screen. So we tapped NFC. Now we're basically connecting. It's finding the network, connecting to the network, connecting to the camera, and we're connected to the camera. So it says operate the camera and select images to save. I can actually, with that Wi-Fi feature, now go and select images from my camera that I would like to send. And look at this, I can actually choose the size of the image that I would like, either original size or a small two JPEG, which is one of the smallest size JPEGs. So more of a reference file than it is a file that you can really edit well. So if you go original size, keep in mind that's gonna be a big image that it's gonna transfer. So if I select that and then choose send selected, and then it's, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit set and okay. Boy, this is a lot of uh, options to go through and hit send. Now it is sending this image in original size to the phone, which is pretty cool. So that's the NFC functionality. The NFC basically allows you to uh, when you connect to send photos from your phone or from your camera to your phone. Pretty cool. You can be connected to the camera. You could transfer images by looking at all of them and previewing them on the phone. You can NFC connect and then transfer images from your camera to the phone uh, and also choose the size on a per image basis, which is pretty neat. Most other transfer apps for other camera manufacturers such as Sony only allow you to choose one size for all the images. Uh, so I really like the way that um, Canon has built this in. Canon seems to have made some really big steps in the process of having a better experience for transferring images from our cameras to our phones. So thanks for checking out this video here on Ditch Auto. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel or give it a thumbs up. We hope to see you back soon here on Ditch Auto. Thank you.